welcome back. Today I'm going to be using my Cuckoo Bread Maker. And I recently got it about maybe two months ago and I love using this. I use it almost every single day. I think I might need to slow down because I might break it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is my first bread maker but I've made maybe about 20 loaves of bread by now. And today I'll be making sandwich bread okay and here we have 15 settings on this cuckoo bread maker and I love it I used to try to make bread by hand and let me tell you <laughs> I, it, it is not easy I don't know it, it's so much science into it you had to get temperatures the weight right and I thought I was doing everything but it depends on the climate everything and it doesn't come so easy for me. So my husband bought me a bread maker because he got tired of me wasting flour. <laughs> I was a little sad because I felt like I couldn't make proper bread out of my own two hands. But thanks to the people at Cuckoo Bread Maker that made this, I am really happy with whatever uh, bread machine that's out there that is helping us make bread for our families, all right? And so here we have 15 settings. Uh, this is basic, the first one. French, the second, third is whole wheat, fourth is quick, fifth is sweet bread, sixth is sandwich, and that's the setting we're gonna be using, is number six. Seven is gluten-free, eight is mix, nine is yogurt, 10 is dessert, 11 is dough. If you just wanna make dough for, and, and then form your bread later on, but I also have used the dough to make uh, pizza dough, so that's really good for that. Uh, the twelfth one is for jam. Haven't tried that yet, but I will be trying it. And thirteenth is cake. I have made carrot cake in this, and it's been really, it was really good. I loved it. Uh, Fourteen is bake, and fifteen is homemade. Okay, homemade would be your own settings if you're following a recipe that's not from the bread machine. Okay. And it's actually the words are rubbing off, which I'm pretty upset about. I gotta write it down somewhere. It's rubbing off because I used some kind of spray chemical. I can't even remember which one, and it rubbed off the words. So please be careful when you're cleaning your bread maker, okay? Okay, so first we have, if you like, you can use a scale. I measured the stuff out so I can tell you in um, milliliters or in cups or in, and in teaspoons. Or tablespoons how much everything is okay first we're going to put our wet ingredients which is uh, the milk is 300 milliliters okay and we're gonna put that down here all right then I have 50 milliliters of water okay this is um, warmed. The milk was about 110 and the water was a little less because once you get it together, you don't want it to be, you know, overwhelmingly hot, both the milk and water. So it needs to equal out the proper temperatures, okay? Um, and the, the water was about 108. And I have five tablespoons of melted butter, okay? And you don't wanna pour this in too hot, okay? Get it to around um, 98, okay? Let me grab a spoon so I could scrape off the rest. Okay, look at that, it was already cooling, but that's okay. I love making bread. The smell, whether it's a hot day, cold winter day, I bet you it's even better just smelling your house. Oh my goodness. Baked goods, right? Whether even if it's plain bread, it just smells so amazing. <laughs> and, and you know, and you can get your, your dough crunchy also with the French uh, setting, which is number two, okay? And I'm gonna show you the results, of course, 
of how the bread comes out, okay? Okay. Now, oops. <laughs> Can't lose that song. Okay, now I'm gonna push it a little bit of the flour aside and I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. This is kosher salt. You know, use the salt of your choice, but of course you might have to put a little less or more depending how salty that salt is. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna make a little dent in the middle and add my two tablespoons of sugar. This is brown sugar. You can use the sugar of your choice. Choice. If you use stevia, again, this is for baking. Um, also stevia, you have to put like way less, like maybe half a teaspoon, you know. Also, I've used monk uh, fruit sugar, uh, uh, sugar, you know, for baking. I think I have baked cookies or a cake with that once and that came out. It's supposed to be, you know, um, it equals the amount as regular sugar, but it doesn't. I found it way too much, way too sweet. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my brown sugar, and I like to put my yeast over, right over the sugar, and the yeast is two tablespoons and one fourth of a of a teaspoon. Oh, sorry, did I say tablespoon? Two teaspoons of yeast and one-fourth of a teaspoon of yeast, okay? Make sure that's right over the sugar, and I'm gonna cover it up. And I'm already ready to place this in the machine, okay? Okay. Now I am going to press the menu button and stop at number six, right there. So far it shows three minutes and 30 seconds. And now I'm gonna put the weight of two pounds and the color, I don't want it crispy, which would be the third one. I don't want it too, too dark brown. Um, I want it light which is the first one, okay? And the middle one would be a little more brown, you know? Okay, so, and that's start, which is three hours and 35 minutes. It's a total to make this sandwich bread. And it comes out really nice and fluffy. You're gonna love it. I actually made a loaf this morning and I had turkey and cheese and mayonnaise and it was, it was beautiful, I loved it. I'm, I will be showing you how the bread comes out and you're gonna be so excited you're gonna buy yourself a bread machine of whatever brand okay so um we'll be back with the results okay okay guys i'm back and the bread has just finished baking it's beeped a few times and i'm going to wait 10 minutes before I slice into the bread, okay? But let's show you how it looks. It rose a little and then it sunk, but at least it's over the tray, okay? Now make sure you use a mitten because this handle is extremely hot, okay? And gently t twist it. That okay. Okay, and now I'm going to flip this over. Oh my goodness, look how it came out. <laughs> now it's gonna have that little hole because of the little mixer hook that we have here. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> don't worry about that. Okay, look how big that is. Oh, it's a mixer paddle. <laughs> look at that, okay. And we're gonna wait 10 minutes to cut into it. This came out really, look at this color. This is beautiful. Nice and hot 
and it smells good. Okay. Okay, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. And now we're gonna slice into this bread. And by the way, it smells amazing. It smells buttery. Buttery. <laughs> buttery. Buttery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cringy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut into this bread. Okay. For those of you that have a bread knife, go ahead and use it. I have one, but it's smaller than this, so I'm using this knife. And look at this. Okay, like I said, the um, bread flour will make this dense, not so soft. Look at that. Give it a little squeeze. And on the sides, it's nice and crunchy. Okay. On the top, it's soft. Okay. But the edges are kind of crunchy, okay? Look at that. Okay, guys. So, here we have it. This is the bread. And it's delicious. We're going to make a sandwich. You can put peanut butter and jelly. However you want to eat your bread. Even dip it in some soup okay and um, thank you for joining me please like share and subscribe buy yourself a bread machine okay and bake some bread all right thank you for joining me buen provecho and have a good night